And as you can see, this thing just cut out on me. But you have to do it. I, I don't know why it does it every once in a while. It cuts out. So. do a quick rundown on this CR10S Pro. Had it for a few weeks now, uh, probably a few months really. It's a total pain in the ass. Uh, every time you walk away from it, it's just, it's all messed up again. You gotta start over again, everything's all fuckered up. So, the first and biggest issue is the Z axis. Uh, the one side, always wants to sag on the other side so uh, on my Thingiverse account I posted these I, it's the quick and dirty Z sag fix so right up on the Z lead screws you can stick these on there and uh, you print these out stick the rubber bands across the top and uh, it helps keep them in sync so that the one side doesn't sag every time it moves um, I, my rubber bands kept breaking. Well, they broke once in probably like since since I got it, but it's a pain in the ass to change them. So don't use this as the ultimate problem solver. Get something else going. So when the rubber bands broke, I had already ordered a set of anti-backlash uh, Z bearings. It's just got a little spring and two like backlash nuts so that it keeps tension on it. So I'm gonna give those a try. Um, I would like to get a timing belt GT2 set up for this machine, but uh, I haven't gotten that far yet. So hopefully these anti-backlash nuts do the trick. Um, next thing, bed leveling on this is terrible. The stock sensor sucks. The one everybody says to get on Amazon, you know, it's another one that, that looks just like this, same thing, uh, it's not awesome either, uh, so I broke down, I've got a BL Touch on there now, the BL Touch works great, it's pretty flawless, so once you do that, uh, you can get your bed leveled, you can put a magnetic bed on it, whatever you want, uh, that's the other thing. With this type of sensor, if you have a magnetic bed, these will not work. Not at all, not one bit. So you have to get the BL Touch. Uh, must haves, you must upgrade to the Tiny Machines firmware. And make sure you get the, the Tiny Machines has a little quick G code that's like a, a reset. You put that on there, save it on your card, put the card in there, then you can just, you can reset all your uh, leveling settings whenever you need to. And I find that I need to do it quite often because it's always messed up. And so you have to just start from scratch. So anytime you power cycle this, make sure you check everything. Don't just set it to run and walk away. Uh, I did in the Tiny Machines uh, firmware. One thing I found uh, in the configuration, underscore ADV dot H line 475 set that to false that keeps your Z screws uh, the Z motors on all the time unless you turn them off or flip the power off then you're gonna you know lose power to the Z stops that also helps with that Z sag uh, I added a couple lines of code I think I'm gonna try and just put them down below instead of trying to remember it uh, so that Every time you run a new set of G code, you can put it right in your slicer to uh, to auto bed level every time, and it really seems to help. Like it makes a huge difference. I can cycle this thing a whole bunch of times without having to mess with it and getting frustrated with it. Um, I'm gonna the biggest thing, biggest issue I have is the the leveling. So every time. You know, you power it up, power it down. Any of your saved uh, Z offset just seems it's gone, you know, whatever. So I found the best way to do it is set my Z offset so that I can get the bed leveled. 
on the auxiliary leveling screen, then just pretend it's non-existent. Then what you have to do is go in and start a print and actually test it and use the adjustment. Now don't necessarily count on to adjust on the fly. It doesn't, it's not going to keep lowering it every time you hit the button. So you'll end up tearing stuff up. So you have to be really careful, you know, go like point four, you know, like a max of like point four if you're running the DL touch, you should be right around there. Um, so take it down to like a negative point four and then you know, if you're not sticking right away, just cancel the print, restart the print, and check it again, and then maybe go down another, you know, 0.1 or up 0.1 until you get it right. And then, you know, just make make a note of it somewhere. Like I've got ABS 0.4, PLA 0.3, and that gets me pretty close every time. Oh, uh, so hopefully I helped somebody or someone, anyone. You know making this video let me know and if you guys have a way know of a way to keep that Z offset in there so that you don't have to go through and adjust it on the fly every time that'd be awesome let me know leave a comment I really can't find it anywhere on the internet I've dug through everything and I can't figure it out so I'll catch you guys later I'll uh, make sure you subscribe I'm gonna do some goofy videos and fun videos we're building some BMX bikes uh, building frames from scratch so you're going to want to check that out and I'm going to be 3D printing a lot of the jigs and parts for jigs and alignment tools and stuff are all going to be 3D printed so again subscribe I'll catch you guys later